Okay, guys, another episode of Panda Garage here. Now, this week, I want to go through something I bought online because I needed to check something on Maryland here, the Monaro. I had a bit of a problem where it was stalling and spluttering. It turns out it was actually the air, um, air sensor, the airflow sensor. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, so the airflow sensor was playing up in my other intake pipe, so I've changed it back to the factory one. Now the car is ace. So... What I did, I bought this, this was actually relatively cheap because I've heard that even taking this uh, car to the mechanic to find out through a scan tool can cost around $100 sometimes just for them to scan. So I ended up buying this online for about 30 bucks. Now what this is is a OBD2 scanning tool. Now any car basically from 2000, uh, 96 onwards, I think it might have been 2000, 2000 2001, sort of onwards, um, uses a plug like this. So generally they'll be under your dashboard and or they'll be in the center console. Generally they're somewhere around the driver, um, as, depending on what side of, side of the world you're on um, in your car. So left or right, it'll generally be on your side, um, whatever's the driver's side. Now what this does, basically this gets into the computer, um, into the car's brain. You can scan um, if there are any codes, any faults that are coming up in the system. Um, generally this will come a little book um, with sort of a guide to what numbers mean what. Um, really simple to use. Um, I'd recommend anyone getting one of these just for peace of mind because um, I've got a few, fair few cars here in the family so I've gone through and checked all of them um, to make sure and anytime the codes come up I can pick up it up straight away and it, it makes life a lot easier because sometimes it's just hard to know especially with uh, anything with electronically operated um, modules and computers and that so we'll get on with it. I'm going to show you how this works and We'll see if there's any faults coming up in Maryland because the last time I checked, we had nothing. So let's begin. My car smells like McDonald's at the moment. We got food on the weekend and it still smells like McDonald's. Ah, that's a completely different story to deal with. Now, with the tool, my plug is actually in anyone with a Commodore um, VTVZ. Um, generally, it's going to be right under your driver's seat. So I'll show you driver's seat dashboard so right there if you can see it yep there it is right. so what we do plug in your tool now most of them come with their own sort of set of there it is so as you can see it's lit up now it basically you wait for it to come up with CAN OBD2 so now it's um, logged in, we turn the key on. So we want it on, but not completely on. And we hit enter. See? So that's logged in now, it's all connected. Um, the DTC means um, what kind of codes are bouncing. So we hit enter. So car's all clean at the moment. Hit enter again, so you can check. So later on you can erase your codes and that to clean the system. The IM basically means it can check exactly um, if all the systems have been checked. My car being sort of a strange one, generally we're a bit behind on our technology, which is a bit of a pain, but some cars have it, some cars don't. And then you can check your VIN number even, which is cool. And then you can, of course, you can rescan. So that's basically it. So it's simple plug-in. You can check anything, like check your system on your car, make sure it's all working. And if you do get codes, it will tell you in the book exactly what they mean. And then you can go from there. So simple as that, guys. Right, that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. Those OBD2 um, little scanners are so easy to find. There, the one I had was under thirty bucks on eBay. So. Just get on there, it's really good to have in your toolbox. Um, and it just especially just something great, so you don't have to go to the mechanics all the time to check it, because there's nothing worse than going down there and just getting blatantly ripped off for them to scan your car and tell you it's all right, or if you've got something that's misfiring slightly. But thank you so much for watching this episode. I'll be back next week with another one. And I'd just like to take a moment to thank you all so much for watching these videos. I appreciate it so much. Um, 
it's been something that I wanted to do for a long time and now that I've got a fair few videos out and everyone's been watching them um, I just want to thank you so much it makes me want to do more and create better content so um, if you want to follow us in between episodes we're on Facebook and Instagram under the Panda Garage and until next time guys I'll see you soon so Panda out <laughs>